out contention Whose power can be questioned or contained With humble faith He rules the earth and heavens His glory knows no measure or refrain And He's bursting past the borderlines of space Come on, sing it with me, Jesus Oh, Jesus, enthroned upon the praises of our hearts. Jesus, you're the king and you're the center of it all. Come on, we lift you up over New Orleans, King Jesus, yeah.
the king and you're the center of it all Jesus enthroned upon the praises of our hearts Jesus You're the king and you're the center of it. Come on, let's just lift up his name. Come on, let's just lift up his name. Come on, all over this place, just lift up his name. I'll sing this to me. And death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. You silenced the boast of sin and grace. The heavens are roaring. For you are raised to life. <laughs> You have no rival, you have no equal, now and forever, God, you. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory, yours is the name. Come on, death could not hold you, come on, sing it out. Powers of darkness, man, for years, oh God. 
Lord, we just thank you, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, that you come and continue to transform the church and try to bring in the Lord, bring in the harvest, oh God. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him another shout. Shout! What's his name? What's his name? Come on, church. What's his name? What's his name? Just real quick. The enemy tries to tell me I don't belong here and I don't belong with this microphone in my hand. But I'm here to say, I belong here because I'm here. So I don't know who I'm talking to. You are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Today is the day of reconciliation. Today is the day to be built up. It's a cleansing. This was already spoken. You cannot sneak into this earth. You were spoken here. You was a thought on the Father's heart. Hermanos, hermanas, somos aquí y no vamos ningún lado. Somos aquí and we're going to rush the gates of hell and claim territory and victory through the blood of Jesus Christ. What's his name? Come on, let's sing that out. What a beautiful name. Come on, just lift your hands, sing that with me. And what a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Now sing this with me. In our God reigns. Our God and forever your kingdom reigns. <laughs> Come on, sing that out. In our God reigns. Our God reigns forever, and forever your kingdom reigns. Come on, sing it over America. Come on, lift it up, our God. In our God reigns. Our God reigns forever your kingdom reigns. shaken will be shaken anybody been shaken a little bit nobody saw the global pandemic nobody saw the civil unrest nobody saw well we all thought the election was gonna be cray but nobody thought it was this cray and here in the midst of it all is the church now I want to be really clear like what we're doing today and what you're a part of. And if you're out there watching, wondering what this is all about, who's that long-haired hippie guy up there in a shirt from the 70s? Yes, this is a shirt from the 70s, from the Jesus People Movement, because I'm prophesying a new Jesus People Movement is coming to America. But I'm telling you, I've seen a glimpse of what God is about to do in America. 
This is our 48th city. And we haven't just got into like the friendly ones. We've been into some crazy places, those that have followed our journey. But one of the things that I've realized is what we're doing, this is not a political statement. This is a biblical statement. That in the midst of persecution, in the midst of pandemic, in the midst of insanity, we're still gonna worship. Our cities need breakthrough. Our cities need healing. Our cities need reconciliation. Our cities need the church to rise up. And I believe right now, there is a boldness and a courage coming on the church of New Orleans and Louisiana. And I believe what God's about to do right now is a prophetic sign and a wonder. Every city that the Lord has sent us into, we've been preaching the simple gospel. Five minutes, the simple gospel. It's not complicated, it's simple. A man came 2,000 years ago. He gave his life on a bloody cross so that we did not, would not have to live in hopelessness. We would not have to live in despair. We would not have to live in a perpetual 2020. <laughs> that we could rise above it. That we could be planted on an unshakable foundation. That we could be part of a kingdom that will never fade. And I believe right now across, as I'm seeing people all over, I believe right now that the presence of God is here in this place. The presence of God is here and His desire is that today He would reach out that His, His job description is to seek and save those who are lost. And I believe there's people out there right now on the street that are filled with hopelessness and discouragement and despair and anger. People that have almost committed suicide. People that are on drugs, people that don't know what to do, people that have lost their job, people that have lost all hope. And Jesus is coming tonight. And He's bringing life, and He's bringing salvation, and He's bringing healing, and He's bringing freedom. And He just wants to take off our heavy burdens. So many guys out there have been carrying such a heaviness. You're not meant to carry that. Shed it off, man. Take off the heaviness. Take off the oppression. Take off the anger. Just get freed. He died 2,000 years ago so that we can live an abundant life. And so right now, I just want to give an opportunity to those that are out there. I know. <laughs> The Lord spoke to me as we were coming in here and the rain began to fall. We love the rain. And I just felt like the Lord said the rain of salvation, the rain of righteousness, the cleansing. And I believe right now there's people out there, there are two groups of people. There's one group that you've never fully wholeheartedly given your life to Jesus. If 2020 has taught us anything, is that He is literally our only hope. <laughs> He's your only hope. He's your only hope. He's your only hope. He's your only hope. Turn to someone and say, He's your only hope. And there's people out there right now that tonight, today, this afternoon, we are here because of you. For this moment, right now. November 7th, Saturday, is the day of salvation for this city. And then there's another group out there that maybe you've fallen back, you've fallen away, you've gone into compromise, you've been discouraged. It's like the men on the road to Emmaus. You know, it says that these two men are walking and all of a sudden Jesus shows up along them, alongside of them. And it says that they're depressed and they're bummed and they're discouraged. And Jesus goes, hey, what are you guys talking about? They said, we're talking about a guy named Jesus. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> they're blinded. And, and he says, oh yeah, what about him? 
wink, wink. He was supposed to come, he was supposed to do all this, and, and he died. Cue the minor song. We're so sad. And Jesus, this is the amazing thing about that moment. Jesus did not bring condemnation. He did not rebuke them. Good thing none of y'all are Jesus. He would have rebuked them. He spent three years of his life pouring his guts into them. They saw the miracles. They saw the signs and wonders. They, they were firsthand knowledge of the kingdom of God and they rejected him. And he stood there walking on the road and he reminded them again of his goodness. He came with kindness and humility. And I believe that there's a second group of people here that you've fallen away, you've forgotten, your heart is growing hard. And Jesus is not coming to condemn you right now. He's coming to ignite your heart again. It says that, it says that those men, you know, all of a sudden their eyes were open, they recognized Jesus, and then boom, Jesus vanished. It says they looked at each other and they go, oh, our hearts burned. Some of you guys, your hearts have begun to burn again. Even as we're worshiping out here, as you're seeing this unity of the church, as you're seeing the power presence of God, your heart is coming alive again. So right now, I want to give an opportunity, one, if you're here and you've never in your life received Jesus tonight, now, this moment is your opportunity. And listen, we are about to celebrate like a bunch of crazy Cajuns because heaven is going to celebrate and we're going to celebrate. And there's a second group of you that it's, this is your time, this is your season to say, I am all in King Jesus. I am all in King Jesus. I am all in for revival. I throw off the pain. I throw off the discouragement. I throw off the compromise. I'm all in. I'm yours. So on the count of three across this place, we're, we don't do the whole close your eyes, bow your head. No, no, we, we do that. Everybody's looking and whoever wants Jesus, raise your hand. And then we are going to celebrate. Listen, the reason why we do this is because we want to celebrate with heaven. We want to explode with joy. We want to party. So on the count of three, if you're here, either one, you've never received Jesus. I know people all over the streets are listening to me. This is your moment. He is a God of kindness and love and compassion, and He longs for your heart. Or two, you just want to rededicate fully and wholeheartedly. And one of those two groups on the count of three, I want you to lift your hands. One. This is the best and most epic, important decision in the history of your life. Do not miss this moment. You are not promised tomorrow. Two, we are going to throw the biggest party rejoicing with you as you raise your hand to fully give your life to Jesus. And three, come on, if you're here, lift your hand. If that's you, if you're in one of those categories, come on, lift your hand. Come on, give him a... Give, come on, come on, give him a shout, give him a shout. I see hands everywhere. Come on, I see hands everywhere. Come on, come on, lift it up. Salvation, salvation, salvation. Salvation in New Orleans. Come on, this is what I want to do. If you raise your hand in one of those two categories, I want you to run up here with me on the steps right now. I want to pray for you. Come on, come up here. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait, and as they come up here, I want you to give them a roar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Come on, keep coming, come on, there's more of you out there. There's more of you out there. Come on, there's more of you out there. Come on, guys, come on, come on. Come on, we're gonna wait two more minutes. Keep coming. Don't miss this moment. Come on, don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, just lift your hands if you're up here. Lift your hands if you're up here, come on. Come on, some people are gonna lay hands on you. Oh, isn't this amazing? <laughs> 
<laughs> God, <laughs> we love you so much. We're thankful for salvations in New Orleans, Louisiana. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. I see people off the street that are coming up. Keep coming, we wanna pray for you. Come on, we're gonna go into baptizing. We're gonna go into miracles. We're gonna party. We're gonna sing of the faithfulness of our God. Come on, just extend your hand. Come on, I want all you guys to pray this prayer together with me. Jesus. God, we thank you. That Lord, we thank you. This is a prophetic sign of hope for America. The gospel is unstoppable. Come on, pray this with me. Say, King Jesus. Come on, louder than that. Come on. King Jesus, I give you my life right here in Jackson Square. I dedicate my heart to you. I repent. Come on, say it again. I repent for my compromise, for my sin, for turning my back on you, for allowing my heart to grow cold. Today, King Jesus, light me on fire. Set my heart on fire. I want to burn for you, King Jesus. Come on, say this. I am never gonna turn back. You have my heart. You have my soul. You have my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, lift up a shout. Come on, lift up a shout. Lift up a shout.